story about a working mom who had the police called on her and ended up with a guilty plea in order to keep her child. It turns out she left her four-year-old in a car, a cool car, for a few minutes to do an interview nearby. She couldn't afford childcare. Let me tell you something. You know, I remember the days oh. when my mama would take Ooh. me, so I, you know, like she'd have me, and she'd have to run into the store, mm-hmm. and I sat in the car. Let's talk about what run into the store meant time-wise. Yes, right? I mean, I remember, my mom be gone, it felt like an hour. Yes. You know, and nobody, that wasn't an issue. Now, of course, this was never, I was never an infant. No. To my, of course, what I remember, but right. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, and uh, it wasn't, I know there have been a lot of issues with hot cars. Right. But when does it it go too far? Are people yeah. just intervening at moments that aren't really don't need that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? And I, I am absolutely against leaving a baby in a it's small, dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Leave a kid in the carpet. In period. A kid, period. Mm-hmm. Well, we asked our neighbors if they believe parent shaming is fair. This is what they had to say. Take a look. There's some times where I feel like maybe you don't see both sides of the story, but then I think it sheds light on some issues that maybe people don't think about, you know, every day. Video shaming can be fair if someone did something wrong in the first place and they need to be called out on it. Although on the other hand, video shaming can be very toxic because if someone did something not totally wrong and they didn't mean to do it, they can totally, you know, get really hurt by it. If you're going to call somebody out on their social behavior, you should do it in a social forum where they have the opportunity to defend themselves or their ideas. Interesting. Interesting. Well, parent shaming is a disturbing trend. Add a camera to the mix and lives can be changed instantly. Joining us is Chip Williams, an English teacher who deals with parents every day, and a criminal attorney, Allison Treesell, who deals with cases every day to share their experiences. Hi, Allison and Hi, Jen. Jen. Hi. Thank you for being here. For being so, here. Chip, we're going to start with you. As a teacher, how have you seen parents shamed? Well, you know... I remember one student uh, who was just a very difficult behavior uh, situation, Mm -hmm. and so much so that he actually shoved my teacher's aide against the Mm -hmm. wall. Her back went out. She was out for months. Wow. That's called assault. Yeah. 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 This is, we had what's called an SST, a a student study team Mm -hmm. put together to talk to the mother about, you know, well, what's going on here? Because, because people were wondering, well, what's she doing? Right. And it turned out that she had put every kind of disciplinary action uh, in place with him in the home, Mm -hmm. but like taking privileges away, Mm -hmm. uh, giving him extra chores, whatever, none none of that worked. And finally, when she spanked him, Mm -hmm. he returned to school the next day with red marks and was, Mm -hmm. she was reported, Uh you know, not by me, but by another teacher. And she broke down and cried because she felt like she was at a loss. She's at the end of her rope in understanding how to deal with her own child. Exactly. And so people came to her asked her to continue to do something with this child. She's at the end of her rope. She goes to corporal punishment. She gets gets punished for the corporal punishment. And the corporal punishment was the last resort. Right. Right. Right, right, right. So, like, in a situation like that, like, the child comes to school with marks. There are mandatory reporters. Yes. So if they're going to see marks or bruises or anything like that, they actually have a duty to call. Right. Yeah. But where the problem comes is when you have nosy, vigilante neighbors and friends Mm -hmm. who believe that their parenting style is the only way to parent. Right. And they report you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the ramifications can be catastrophic. Right. So you can get arrested. Mm -hmm. You can have your children removed. Yeah. Right. You are publicly shamed. Humiliated, yeah. Lose your job because your coworkers see it or hear about it. Right. So we've got to really dial it back. We have to understand what is real abuse. So if there's ever a concern about child sexual abuse or Mm -hmm. real physical abuse Mm -hmm. or drug use, you intervene. You intervene. Now, the law does not require that you intervene, but you're doing the right, responsible thing. But if Mm -hmm. you think that the child watches too many video games, that's not your business. I've seen people who had the police called on them because they decided to let their 8-year-old catch a bus. Right. Or go walk to school or or walk walk to to the park. Or go to the park. They're called different parenting decisions. You may not like them. It's not your child. Mm -hmm. There are times, of course, where you call because you say, wait a minute, I am concerned about it, and 
it may be founded, it may be unfounded, but it doesn't sit well with me. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But there are 100,000 calls made every year, mm -hmm. and most of them are unfounded. Interesting. And parents really suffer the consequences well beyond that initial call. That's right. It also destroys, in some of these cases, the parent-child bond. Yeah. yeah. Well, have you witnessed parents filming other parents? Have you witnessed any of that as a teacher? No, I haven't seen that. I, mm -hmm. I've seen students taping each other, right. <laughs> but, but ne never uh, parents taping other parents. Right. Do you, it, does, it sounds like the, one of the things that you're both talking about is that people are seeing one thing, and they don't know the whole story. There's always right. a backstory. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. so I do criminal defense. There's always a backstory here. Mm -hmm. The question becomes, is this something that's symptomatic, right. that has gone on for a long time, and there should be intervention? Right. Or you see one moment in time, mm -hmm. um, I have three boys. I get angry at them. Yeah. I've had bad days. Yeah. Days that I should go to jail for? No. Right. Mm -hmm. Days that I, if I could take back, maybe? Yes. Yeah. Or if somebody else w had a window into you, you know, speaking to your kids that moment. Yeah. I'm lucky because I can turn to them and say, mind your business. Yeah. Right. But a lot of people can't do that. Yeah. And, and not only that, they don't even have a right in these child protective services situations mm -hmm. to confront the accuser. Mm -hmm. Because once that person speaks to a social worker and it makes its way into a report, you never get to know who lodged the attack. Mm -hmm. oh, that's and you don't know I didn't how know to that. defend yourself. Right. I did not know that. that. True. That's true. And so what should a parent do if they find themselves in a misunderstanding like with strangers? Like somebody's like, you left your kid in the car, right. you know, and, and you didn't. You know, if the parent has the presence of mind to do so, turn to the camera and just say, this is just a moment in my parenting. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what's going on here. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just to sort of uh, advocate for oneself, this is, a, this is a moment in a lifetime of parenting. And I, I don't know if anyone would have that presence of mind. Yeah, it's but, hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I, would, I would have a hard time with that. Me well, too. Yeah. It's different if you're talking about social media and do you intervene, yes. mm -hmm. or if you're approached by the police or social services. Right. Because there's very, the way you respond is quite different. So yeah. with social media, unfortunately, you're going to have a real difficult time yeah. responding to a barrage of right. negative comments. Right. And yes. sometimes you just got to let it go and mm -hmm. get through it. Wow. With police and with social workers especially, sit down and explain. Mm -hmm. Explain what's going Be transparent. Yeah. Now, with police, and it's a criminal investigation, as a criminal defense attorney, I'm always very concerned. How much are you telling them? Are you Show admitting order. to things that you don't <laughs> yeah. do, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But on the other hand, when it's your child and you want to make sure they're not removed from the home, you better put your best case forward Absolutely. immediately. Thank you so Thank you much, Chip and Allison. Thank you. Me Time with Frangela. 